Hello people, my name is Rage, and welcome one and all to Rebirth, and to the best Eden run you're ever going to see, because I believe... Uh, hey, you know, I would have looked like a massive moron if it had been terrible, but he's got the swishy, swoopy haircut, he's got the Trinity Shield, and he is riding a noble steed. This is Eden the Knight in moderately shining armor. So I am very much happy about this. We got the dash, we got the crack the sky, and honestly, early game, that's really not bad. As you just saw, it helped out in that room a lot that otherwise would have been a little bit awkward. Go on, fire at me. I dare you, sniper worm. Oh, yeah, what's up? Do it again, do it again. Yeah, you cannot hurt me. I am unscathed. It is merely a flesh wound. This room is absolutely fine once again, so starting with flying is obviously pretty nice. However, starting with flying via a spacebar item is less nice, but honestly, assuming we don't get another good spacebar item, it's absolutely fine. So I'm kind of happy about this. If we get Mum's knife, I am going to be so happy with this run, you have no idea. And there it is. So I have a feeling the item room is going to be above here on the right, because it's normally never off the big room on the first floor, and it looks like I am right in my assumption there. Annoyingly, I did take a full heart of damage from a champion. I don't know why, but I assumed I did have contact damage for some stupid reason. Item! Hey! Super Meat Fan! We are the Red Knight! Which is just fantastic, because red, as you all know, is the best colour in the universe. The rusted key is very, very nice as well. So honestly, this is doing pretty damn well. And it looks like we are going to have a charge of this item for the boss, which should make it particularly easy, which is lovely. And hopefully we can regain the shame of yesterday and not do a very costly and greedy boss rush, which really was so very pointless for what we got out of it. I do feel a little bit bad. So, so many tinted rocks, though. If we don't at least get one bomb, all right, we do get one. May as well do this one. I'm feeling pretty good about it. Yeah, I mean, a load of money is lovely to start with, so I'm not going to complain about that at all. And then these guys are going to be fine, especially, I just realized I have the Trinity Shield. Why am I being scared of them? I can just nobly stand and fight them like they were nothing. But seriously, having an item like this against Isaac Mum's heart? Oh, I cannot wait to get my sweet, sweet revenge. Or bitter revenge, depending on, you know, how you like your revenge. Bad trip, that's a little bit lame, but doesn't really matter too much. And we get Steven, who actually doesn't take that much damage from Crack the Sky and the Charge. So that's a little bit annoying. I really wish the Crack the Sky from that did actually definitely hit everyone. And while I have been told from multiple sources the order you kill these guys doesn't matter in, it still makes me feel happy in a placebo type effect of sugary pillness to kill the little guy first. Mainly because I think, you know, Big Steve can handle it more emotionally. So I think it's the more humane way to do things. We do have 15 money exactly, so I think it would be very remarkable not to take advantage of a first floor shop as you really get to do and uh, nothing too fantastic so I'm gonna buy that I'm gonna buy that and then five go into you donation machine we are so close to that 999 it is going to be awesome all right so we are looking pretty good we got the key for the next floor shop we got the spirit heart to protect our devil deal chances and we have the super meat fan for a really nice all-round increase to everything so really there's not much I can complain about on this. In fact, there's nothing really I can complain about. I look fancy as well. I do actually really want to do the run one day where I... That room was a little bit... I just, like, everywhere, just so many explosions. That was insane. Kind of just took me... That was a delayed reaction on my part, I know, but it kind of fazed me. I think I just blanked it out preemptively as trauma. That was incredible. Oh, what I would give for a Crack the Sky charge here. That would have been incredible. I would have showed them how to fly. Either way, 
We are looking badass, and it does make me want to do the Isaac run, where I only pick up items that I think make me look cooler, or have a cool look, and deliberately leave items that don't, even if they're really powerful. I think it would be kind of amusing. I do want to go in that curse room, but obviously I want to get potential devil deals before doing that. So we're going to wait and potentially come back. That guy very effectively nearly suicide bombed us, so that was a little bit worrying. Can you calm down? You are a little bit insane. There we go. A bomb is lovely and a uh, ghost baby. Just in no world is it useful. I mean, it's okay if you're really wanting to hide in a corner and use uh, ghost tears to slowly kill something if you're really scared. I guess if you're playing the Lost, but apart from that, he really is one of the worst ones in the game, honestly. He only really beats Brother Bobby and Sister Maggie by virtue of having the ghost tears, so he should not be too proud of himself. I guess because I do have uh, the double bomb, I am going to go see if I can't bomb my way into uh, the curse room, which would obviously be pretty damn effective. And that's not the secret room, so that's a little bit irritating, but it does mean the secret room is likely to be here. And indeed it is, and we grab an extra key, which isn't great right now, but will probably come in handy towards the end of the run. So I'm okay with this. Hopefully we get a boss who is very much a fan of firing tears at me, and it is Dingle. So we are immune to half of Dingle's main attack, so that is absolutely great. And we do have the poop to protect against charges so we can't really complain about this at all we should be able to kill him in four rounds of charging so i'm not too concerned about this in fact yeah we're not even gonna get the second round of charging dingle you really really could have played that better my friend you really need to join pin in boss school it's it's a real problem we'll wait to get the food till after the devil deal just in case there was like two twos or something like that guppy's tail is fine yeah well we could have definitely done worse with free red chest so i will accept the tail for now <laughs> let's go in our shop we do have the money to make it worth it We'll get something good off this damn floor. And yeah, I'm kind of happy to take the PhD. And we get a full health pill, which again is kind of fine. So let's roll over to the cursed room, especially as we do have a guppy item now. It makes even more sense to try and grab what we can. And I realize I haven't used the spacebar in a while. A free gimpy, not excellent, but, you know, better than just a room full of spiders. So I am happy about that. And of course, we don't take the full damage because we are flying. I'd kind of forgotten about that completely. Either way looking pretty good and ready to move on with our lives. Really did get the full value of this floor, which I do like doing. Bet you thought I was going to forget that HP up. Well, I nearly did. No, like genuinely, I, I very nearly forgot that. That would have been would have been one of those times that I would... Remember that time Rage forgot his item? <laughs> Isn't he just the worst human in the world? Uh, it's just a council of people who are just here to discuss my various failings as an Isaac player. I like to imagine it, it much like Lord of the Rings, and it's like... He's there trying to decide about a devil deal, and he's like, would you guys take that? And then everyone's like, <laughs> would we take that? That is the worst devil deal I have ever seen. And then the angel steps forwards and goes, and my wings! And then the devil's like, we're not doing that, angel. Stop trying to be cool. And then, of course, Gimli, who would be there anyway, does get to say in my axe. So everyone is very much happy about that. I don't actually know what it is that I am doing on this floor. I need to be a lot carefuler than I am being if I want a good devil deal chance here due to not having any spirit heart protection. Balls of Steel, however, very much grants me that option. So I'm going to take the chariot now because I would be very surprised if I ate through two spirit hearts on this floor. So that is nice. And there we go. Oh, I love shooting at- did I just- oh, the one behind me! I thought it was dead! That was very surprising. Like, genuinely, that was a little bit scary. I was like, did that just get through the shield? Are they that powerful? And then, no, that was- well, not- oh! Oh, sneaky. Very sneaky. That is quite impressive. They're doing flanking tactics. They're learning. 
they are learning. And we get a replacement key and a bit of health. So whatever our item. Yeah, we are really having a zoo run. We are a knight with loyal squires. It's quite a nice little story we're playing out here. So that is very, very good. I thought it was one of the red ones, which is why I was just shooting it. But as it turns out, it's just one of the normal ones. How boring is that? Yes, you can die. That's fine. And then, yep, pop up. Pop up. Whoa. Well, you survived. I'm looking over here. Don't worry about it. Oh, surprise! I'm the quickest tier fire in the West. Isaac is a Western. Would be lovely. And contact damage to a spider. I am the best Isaac player in the world. Everybody. Boom. And we do have a shop and a load of money. So, well, we actually don't get greed. We get ourselves the secrets map. We're going to buy the pill because of balls of steel. And then we're just going to put a load of money in here. In fact, we're going to try and break it. Just because I think at the rate we're earning money, we should be okay for future flaws. A who 983. We are so very close, everybody. We are so, so close. More balls of steel. Absolutely excellent. We have got a lot of balls of steel right now, which is really what we are wanting and we have our boss which is phenomenal as well as of course the secret room which we will go into at our leisure after we'd finished a spot of dingle hunting much better than fox hunting i have to say is dingle hunting because you know you're also literally cleaning up the world when you hunt them wow this is dark bum's wet dream but unfortunately he's not here to claim it hey goody how are you doing? I just realized I have Trinity Shield, so I don't need to move at all. I don't know why that was my song. It's kind of a very pointless song, but... Yeah, this this item makes so many bosses so trivial. It's actually awesome. It really, really is. Okay, those guys need to die because when they lob tears, they're going to actually hit me. Because I think that's how tears work when they are lobbed. You're going to die very quickly, and then you are a tear fire, but I do not care. And we actually get an angel room, so that is nice. We'll grab our placenta and breath of life, which is a little bit of a shame here. It really, really is. And we do get a spirit heart. Breath of life. Breath of life. I'm still not fully aware how you use the item. I think once you fully charge it down, you get a little bit of invincibility, but that's about it. We'll go get our other secret room because we have one bomb left and we know that it's there. So I think we'd be foolish not to. I'm betting there's going to be an item in there. That's what I'm, I feel it in my fingers, which is really scary. Why do I feel items in my fingers? I need an adult. Actually, we get a lot of money. Which is probably just as good because we're going to pop back to the shop and at the very least whack a load more money in our donation machine. So that is very, very excellent. Up we go and grab that key while we're here. And then, oh, looks like it's going to be next run. It is. It's kind of exciting, actually. It's very much ooh, like a very, very slow race watching me put money in that donation machine. I think we can all agree there. Though it is obviously a mammoth task. Now, I really don't want to get to 999 and accidentally put money in and then completely break it. So I'm going to have to get a little bit careful when I start reaching close to my target. That is nice. Again, loads of money. Loads of money. I feel like Rusted Key attracts keys, not money. But maybe I am just wrong in that completely. I mean, I could be. It's entirely feasible. Okay... All right, this room is fine. Though these guys, I was just about to say, they're looking to rob me, and they did. It is an absolute travesty. The crime these days in the streets of Isaac, it is just ridiculous. Why is Policeman Kane not on the case? He's probably been bribed. I bet he's been bribed. That was accidental, really. Um, I mean, I saw the battery and just got kind of excited at the thought of using it. So we are looking pretty good on the whole health amount, though we are looking pretty bad on our ability to kill things. So we're kind of hoping for something that will solve that. And even more money, because we were a little bit short, so that is good. I mean, we are totally due for a greed item room here. We really are. Are you going to be another battery? If you're another battery, I'm so going to use uh, 
my charge in here. And indeed you are a battery, so that is good. And dun 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 dun. Well, it just randomly went, screw you in particular, up there. Not even anywhere near my target, so that's a little bit unfair, but, you know, I'm going to be okay with it. Saves me going up there and killing him. But, yeah, my damage is very much pathetic at the moment, so we're going to have to solve that. Guppy's tail gives us a good chance at actually acquiring... This is a little bit ridiculous, the number of batteries we're finding. Really don't do much for us, but it's nice to have them nonetheless. He is going to become a non-factor. The bat is taking a lot more killing than I was expecting, and free Mask of Infamy is kind of pointless when we have the Trinity Shield, but I guess if something somehow gets past it, we will have a solution, I suppose. Not really too good, though. I would much rather have Cricket's Head. But then again, when wouldn't you rather have Cricket's Head from a gold chest? There's not really many situations. Fate, perhaps, is a good option. Mum's Pad, not really something I'm wanting there. Just, I don't even know why I pressed that. It's just like, no, got raid. why would you do that? Our boss will be over here, because that's where the super secret is located. And it often likes to reside near the boss, because it feels lonely if it's far away from it, and we still don't have a greed, so that is good. We will fill that, we will grab the key, we'll grab the pill, which is again balls of steel, so I'm just going to hold on to that as a way of replenishing my health, and then this room should be a-okay. None of them are champions, so I don't have to worry about just sitting here and killing them, so that's lovely. Well, this guy is a key champion at the back, but that's not going to randomly kill me. Here we go. I feel like it is bad that I can identify that they're a key based on a light shade of kind of colour, but yeah, I think it comes with the territory. Did we have two super secrets here? Because it feels like we really do. Well, that was uh, unfortunate, but at least we freed those spiders from their toomey confinement, because you think about it, they were trapped in a cave until the end of time, which even for a spider, that's a horrible way to go. So I do feel a lot better about freeing them from that miserable fate. I really, really do. Oh, you thought you were going to explode into tears and that they were maybe going to hit me? Haha, <laughs> that's adorable. That is so adorable. You're, st oh, that, you're so adorable. And we get, are you a wizard? Which somehow is considered a good pill. I don't think they understand what a good pill is, but I'm not going to hold it against them. Vom! A load of damage to Mr. Husk there, but really he has a tiny amount of health, so wasn't actually good damage at all. We grab Roid Rage, which is fine, and in our Devil Deal, again, nothing worth taking there. So, that is very much a shame, but we are going to move on. I feel like every floor has one room that we don't do, and I feel bad for the enemies in that room. Like, all of their friends are dead, and they get to slowly wander the floor, looking at the corpses of everyone they once loved. It's it's a very dark place to be in, and really, I, I wish them I wish them all the best. I really, really do, because it's, it's upsetting. It is. It's very, very upsetting. Vom! Anything going on in here? No, nothing crazy. Nothing absolutely mental. Nothing insane is what I would say. So that is good. Intestine balls tend to be a little bit insane. I think you know you've gone off the deep end when you are starting to see into... Hey! Whoa! I wanted to see how much I could get away with in terms of doing that, so that was a little bit fun for me. That was a little bit annoying for me, actually. I'm just going to let Lil Haunt kill him, I guess. And we do have a double key room, which is great. You really took your time there, Lil Haunt, but I do appreciate the efforts. A three! I can't remember what this does, so I'm going to walk on it! Okay. Really not a crazy amount there, so that's that's fine, I guess. Uh, let's so. Oh, it re-rolls the actual items that are on the ground, so it's like the D20. Alright, well, I guess that's not really mattered too much. That was literally just a gold chest that we turned into a coin, which I feel like is a big rip-off. There is clearly more gold on that chest than a coin's worth. Is that a dingle-dangle down there? That is a dingle-dangle down there. 
Whoa, a lot of charginess is happening. Yeah, I feel like I need every familiar as well as me constantly turret firing into an enemy to even slightly do competitive damage. This is very, very worrying. The fear from Lil Haunt doing a lot of work there, so that is at least pretty damn good. We could do with some bombs though. Ooh, we do get Guppy's head. Two out of three, this is very, very good. Especially if we get Guppy, then we can stop using the horse, who at this point is very much a detriment. I mean, the flight is obviously good, but we could be doing a lot better right now. And... Yeah, doing low damage on a room full of these is awful, because you have to be so concentrate face for so long. But we do have a lot of things to do here. Oh, the dead bird. Really not what we want. In here, just a random bomb, which I guess is okay, because it gets us into a secret room, but not really what we're after. Okay, those guys actually died surprisingly quickly, considering how much damage I'm doing. We do find our boss, though this room is... Uh, yeah, I never... I have never done this room without taking damage, which means this room is, like, terrifying if I was playing the Lost. Please don't pull the bomb. Okay, so come on. Ah, that's fine, I suppose. Could go get the other one, but for now I am just going to go tackle our boss. And it is the adversary, which is a little bit concerning. Though we can definitely dodge everything that he chooses to do. Especially if we keep baiting the downward brimstone like this. And now he probably is going to jump into the air because he tends to do that after releasing spiders from his chest. Oh, damn. Still, getting one damage against the adversary is fine when I'm doing this little damage. That kind of sucked. That's the worst place to stand against him. And we do get a little bit of damage up, so that is very, very good. I'm a little bit happy about the lack of an angel or devil deal there. But still, our damage is far from what I'd like to call optimum. This room, however, is fine for any level of damage, but we do very much need some keys, especially now I've got this kind of money. So I suppose I will do the rest of the floor here, because we may find a cursed room and obviously go lovely. That is absolutely fantastic. It really, really is. I kind of want to use the horse dash against these, just because... They really irritate me. I mean, we killed one of them that was already injured. That's how effective it is. It's crazy. <sighs> I was really happy to start with this item because I had a cool look going, but it just progressively irritates me the more I have it. That worked out really well, considering he was a champion. That was really terrible, considering I'm an idiot. And we have two gold chests to open. Come on, goodness. Well, that is great. That is a very nice amount of keys to get. But still, Cricket's Head. Be the savior I need you to be, Cricket's Head. You can do it. And... Oh, that's a shame. But at least now we get to go in the shop as well with all the money. If I can actually acquire that bomb because of the magnetism. Thank you very much. Hey, Greed. Ooh. Humbling bundle. I'm gonna buy that. And do I want the sharp plug? I'm thinking no. I'm gonna buy the battery, though, because I can... At this point, yeah, let us move on with that. Well, again, there could be a curse room off that big room, so I should do that. I mean, I could use balls of steel here for the sake of replenishing that last two bit of hearts, but I'd rather wait until a little bit later, or at least until I have something to replace that slot with, because I'm not desperate for the survivability right here. Though he very nearly did make contact with me. And I think this Synthesol is really, really good. I've never been that happy to see such a minor damage up as I have there. In fact, I don't know if it's minor. I don't know the actual number on Synthesol. I'm not up on my various injected drugs of the Isaac world. It's you know not something I've ever thought I've needed to research that much. Which, you know, is now proving to be... A big mistake on my part, and Mask of Infamy actually did just save me from some damage. Every single time I underestimate him, Mask of Infamy proves to be a baller bro. So, really, I cannot, I can't stay mad at him. Not that I am mad at him, 
but you know what I'm saying. Do I want guppies fly high? Probably not. The flight and speed is just so, so goddamn useful. It's just, it would be foolish of me to pass it up. So let's move on and hope beyond hope that we can get some damage increase on this floor because we really, really need it at this point. We just really do. At least we're killing spiders fairly quick, so that's nice. Getting replacement keys is always great as well. Oh, these are actual laser ones. Damn it, did not see him. Such is the problem with these. And then the final one. I feel like they are the ones that don't... Whoa! That is a sizable amount of money to get out of one of those. That is cr We don't even have Mum's key. That is crazy. And that's a lovely amount of keys as well. Oh, this room is very irritating. It's a lot of chub to kill here. There is a there is a limit on how much chub one should be expected to kill at any one time. That was an incredibly well-placed and skilled bomb that I know you're all just so, so jealous of. It's actually ridiculous. Hey, come on the spikes. Come on the spikes. No, that wasn't the spikes. You want to come on the spikes. You're supposed to go on the spikes, chub. Don't you know anything about how spikes work? You're supposed to let them spike you. Man, I am so upset he's not an idiot. Okay, boss is probably this way because it's the first direction I chose to go in and it actually wasn't, so that's at least something. And we do have a few more chances at useful devil deals, so I'm hoping we can get something out of that. I may as well blow them up just as backup if they do drop any, and there we go. Very nearly needed to take it. Come on, die before you get to me. Oh, that's a shame. I feel like Dingle Dangle wanted the spirit heart there. He really seemed eager to acquire that. Polypopolopopolo is really irritating to deal with when you have little damage because you have to wait for him to come out the ground so often. In fact, his sniper worms are doing more work than he is right now. So let's try and stop that. In fact, yeah, the Trinity Shield's doing a good job at stopping lobbed projectiles. So maybe I am not giving it the credit it deserves. I feel like I keep doing that on various items. Maybe I should just start having a bigger amount of credit to give out. I mean, that is certainly viable as well. The prayer card, not really what we're after here. I mean, yes, more health, great, but a massive waste of an item room there. But what can we do? We gotta keep going, we gotta keep swimming, we gotta make Dory proud, okay? We have to make her proud. We owe it that much to Nemo. Here, guys, have a bomb. Oh, that's a shame. That is a, you know, I really, you know, I'll be honest, I thought you guys had that, but turns out you're not good at dealing with explosions, and that's fair enough. We will turn one of our hearts black, like the evil inside us, or some other representative thing. I am so glad we did get Humbling Bundle, though, because it means all of these that we can open, awesome, so we definitely are getting two more Devil Deals, so that is really, really good right now. Whoa! The psychic shots coming round the back and damaging us. He got moved into me by my shots. That is irony in motion right there. I do not want the safety cap. These guys are going to take a fair amount of killing. I think, like, the mum fight is going to last a while. And that's always dangerous. I always say a long mum is the worst thing you could ever have. So if your mum is particularly tall, I'm sorry to say this, but in the future, she's going to try and stab you. It's... It's just how it works. It is known. It is absolutely known. Come on, there it is. Come on, Dingle Dangles. I feel like Dingle Dangle wrangling. It's like bullfighting, so you hold a red flag in front of a Dingle Dangle, and you're like, Underly, Underly! That's probably not what they say, and a little bit offensive, but it's alright. I'm allowed to be offensive because I lived in Spain. Triple speed up. We are about to get Sonic on this bitch, which is great. A bit of puberty. We were missing a bit of puberty, so I'm glad we've solved that. And we have our mum boss fight. So, yeah, I just, I don't know. I am a little bit worried about how this is going to go. I mean, I know I will defeat it, but at the same time, how's the rest of the floors going to go? I have enough health to stay alive for ages, which is great and all, but I just, it's, it's worrying. It is worrying to me. Let's have a look in here. We do manage to pick up the broken watch, which may end up being very nice, and I guess we'll buy the bomb 
just because we can at this point. More stuff in here. And we will go explore the final room just because we are two out of three guppy. And that was incredibly skilled of me. I mean, oh, you should be so jealous of how good I am at this game. It's actually ridiculous. Okay, and then probably same again at the other side. Did I just take damage again? I feel like I did. I'm fatigued. I'm not playing to the best of my ability. But then again, the best of my ability isn't too good, so I don't think that's entirely a negative thing. Meet strangers without bridges. Trust good people. And crystal ball. Woo! At least we got a spirit heart from it, so it's not all bad. But yeah, no guppy. Come on, Devil Deal. Solve that problem for us. I may use the devil card on mum, but it's not really necessary, I don't think. So I'm going to leave it for now, depending on how the fight goes. This isn't in... Oh no, it's not a champion. The stopwatch happened. Fantastic. Though the stopwatch does nothing against being stomped on, so perhaps not that good. And Gimpy, meaning that damage was literally pointless. So take that, mother! You stamping on my head did nothing because I got given a divine spirit heart from beyond the grave because of this iron mask I was wearing while riding my pony stick. Are you okay, child? Have you... Have you been in the cabinet again? No, I swear. I swear I'm not. It's, it's, it was, it was, da dad made me do it. Sure, you always blame him. Do you realize he's dead? He's dead? I killed him. Oh, <laughs> what is my family? Isaac just has a very, very interesting life. I think we can all agree on that front. Ooh, you killed your own minion. That is, that is heartless. That is really, really heartless. And you're not even heartless yet. I've not killed mum's heart, so she has no excuse to be. Come on, someone please give me the damage from somewhere. Ah, oh, if only I could have the damage from my last run, but with the survivability of this run, that would be ideal. I really got knocked back by that one, but I've kind of just gone into sluggish mode because this fight is taking so goddamn long. It's actually ridiculous. Come on, my zoo! I have four of them following me, and they're doing so little to everything. And any second now. We did it, and we gave ourselves an angel room containing... Ooh, I mean, the soul is not bad. We were a little bit low on the defensive item side of things. God, we are going the chest. We need something to pump up our damage here. We are health ca We are health capped with Trinity Shield, Mask of Infamy, and the Soul. We are not dying, but we are going to be spending an excruciating amount of time killing everything. This is a nice room to skip completely. I don't even care that I've got a stopwatch on it. It's just not worth it. It's genuinely not worth the time it would take to kill it to stay in there. It would just be absolutely insane. That bomb did nothing, so I've learned my lesson. Don't try and pot shot bombs. It's not going to go well for you. All right, Polly Pop, -pop. you're going to try and uh, do various things, and it's just not going to work because I have a shield of iron and a will to match. This is good. We get to blow up one of those as well as get a secret room. Not that we got anything good in it, but we did get keys, and there is a key beggar there. I am tempted. I'm going to get at least one payout and just see what happens. I'm also going to blow up... Hey, Bob's Brain. I am going to take you, Bob's Brain, because, you know, I passed you up before, and I do feel bad about that. I really, really do. And this time, because of all the health and defense we've got, you are actually just a much-needed damage increase. So that was actually really, really good. Bob's Brain, can you do things, Bob's Brain? I, I know I'm sorry. I really am sorry I left you. Yeah, there we go. I think I think me and Bob's Brain are friends again, guys. I think we really are friends again. It's it's really wonderful. Hopefully we get a slowdown on the boss, though it's not really going to be too necessary. As long as we keep making keys per chest, we can keep on opening them, which is, uh, of course, what we need right here. Bob's brain doing work. I don't think Bob's brain ever ceases to be relevant, which is why I like it so much. That There was a lot of stuff packed in that rock. That was very much an empty storage rock, which I hear are all the rage right now. Okay, boss should be over here. I don't think there's a curse room on this floor. Watch that one gold chest I've left have uh, Cricket's head in, but that is the risk you take. 
And we have found our boss. Let's blow up a load of this for the sake of it. And try and not waste bombs, perhaps? Vom! Judas's tongue. Not bad. Not bad at all. Vom! Yeah, the damage is so real right now. It's actually insane. Like, the damage is just so good. Annoyingly, the little fly took the hit for the bosses, but this is one of the easier bosses to get, so I'm kind of fine with that. I mean, you know, I'm in, I'm in two halves about what I should do on this fight. <laughs> uh, brilliant. And our final angel room gives us... <laughs> Alright game, I get it, you don't want me to die, bloody hell, it is ridiculous, it is actually ridiculous, let's move on, we're never gonna die, we have the soul, the bloody holy mantle, trinity shield, mask of infamy, where is our triple orbitals, because really that's all we need to make this ridiculous array of defensiveness absolutely unstoppable, I am... I mean, it's great, don't get me wrong, but maybe a bit of this could be damage ups game. Can I trade the Mask of Infamy for Polyphemus? Am I allowed to do that? I don't think it is physically possible for something that fires tears to kill me in any way, shape or form. Like, how would it be? In what world could you actually injure me? Bob's brain is just going to be the most damage I take now. There's no, there's no other option here, it just really is. Ah. <sighs> And we get a slowed down greed. <laughs> it's just, it just doesn't matter. It just does not matter whatever you do. And a load more money. Hopefully we get money equals power. Then we get some use out of this. And we do have some wall masters to deal with. But they should not be too much of a problem. Though we can actually kill them in one round. Which really shows how pathetic our damage is right now. Because they have like no health. Let's just go in here and then leave... Goodbye, room. Well, that was pointless. Goodbye, room again. We have so many bombs, it's just fine. Though we did still take damage, which is a little bit awkward, but our boss is nowhere to be found. I mean, we'll clear this room just because it's ridiculously easy, given that we've got the slowdown, and we may get a drop from it. And uh, no, I take it back completely. Oh, yeah, we have holy mantles. It didn't even matter that we took damage in that one room. It is... I don't think I've ever been this hard to kill in Isaac. Apart from the time I was literally immortal, I've just not been this hard to kill. It's absolutely insane. Just converting hearts into black hearts. That's about right. Oh no, you tried to fire tears at me. And it doesn't even matter if Bob's brain hits me because I have freaking holy mantle. So what are you going to do? Oh, you got me, I guess, technically. Well done, sir. You managed it. I'm so proud of you. Your mother, Freaky Monster Thing, would be so proud of her son, Freaky Monster Thing, for managing to hit me twice. It's really quite an achievement. And honestly, it is quite an achievement, given the run that I'm having. Bit of puberty. Lovely. And, oh no, Mum's heart. What am I... Oh, and it slowed down. What am I ever going to do? How am I ever going to get round this? Oh no... Oh, this is the worst in the world. Look at this. Look, I am... The only button on my keyboard I am pressing right now is left. Your shots shall not pass. They shall not at all pass. I'm just going to let Bob's brain hit me because I don't care. <laughs> this is so stupid. This is absolutely ridiculous. It is just insane absolutely insane. I don't even care. Oh, that is wondrous. Absolutely wondrous. I took way too much damage in there. Of course I did, but do we give a damn? Because I don't think that we do. We're obviously going to bomb these, replenish our health a little bit, but again, very pointlessly. And then we'll grab that one and ascend. Should have probably got that health, but I thought it would just put me in the beam. So I didn't risk it. A dark cathedral, which I always think is the most sort of symbolic of the cathedrals, really. Really representing Isaac's mind of, of just weirdness. And Haunt had a little bit of a feast on a fly there. It's always good to feed your Haunt enough protein. Otherwise, you start having a defective Haunt. <laughs> I'm gonna get you. Oh, no, the soul. I'm actually I am so impossible to kill 
Watch me manage to die on this run somehow. Just because I'm so cocky that I can't die. It's gonna happen. I'm absolutely calling it. It really, really is. And uh, where is our super secret? Above. So I guess I'm going above right now. That's fine. So contact enemies are really going to be my bane here. But they shouldn't be too bad at all. I have taken way too much damage in this room. I really, really have. But I just... I just don't care. There's no part of me that cares. Just give me... Oh, well, I mean, we can actually get a new spacebar item now. So we got that going for us, which is just fantastic. Hey, Widow. Are you good? So I do really need that extra red heart, though. So I'm glad we did find fate there. Otherwise, I just don't know what we were going to do. I really, really don't. To be fair, my damage isn't, like, awful. It's not blue baby run level. So that's at least something. But Isaac is very much going to get absolutely destroyed. There's no question about it. Yeah, you know what, Fistula? I actually just don't want to deal with you. I really, really don't. You guys, I will deal with because you're reasonably easy to kill. That was some sweet dodging by me there. Oh, and then the holy mantle gets popped. I have hit them all so much. Why are they not dead? Oh no, guys, I somehow took damage. What am I going to do with my life? I took damage, and I just don't know don't know how to make it better. I really, really don't. And we get some more bombs, which is good. We'll bomb into there. And not actually our boss room. Interesting. So we'll grab whatever is in here, which is... Oh, that would have been the best way to return to... Guppy form. I say return like like it's a lost transformation. We forgot how to have Okay, Isaac is almost certainly going to be this way if I had to make a prediction and of course I do I pride myself on my geometry Predictions, can you stop charging please you make it very difficult to kill you. I only want to kill you Is it that unreasonable sir? Sir, I often find you can get away with anything as long as you say sir at the end of the situation Sir, I believe you are the worst human I've ever met sir And then they have to still be respectful because you were being respectful while telling them that that's just how it works little haunt making him uh, Sit down in that corner lovely so where actually is our boss fight? That is a, a big question. I was convinced it would be near the super secret, but alas, I was wrong. I was so, so wrong. Yet your explosions really aren't going to do much right now. In fact, our tears do look sizably good. Like, this would be good damage for maybe the fourth floor at a push. So that's something. It really is. So I guess we're going to go down here, skip Mr... Fistula again, who haunt is all over that guy, and then head right. Still, though, a little bit irritating. That worked out pretty nicely. Holy Mantle saving us a lot of potential damage, because I am being very, very careless. And there we go. I am basically going to camp on top of Isaac, though Bob's brain is very much going to be the counter- point to that. And we are going to use the devil on him. Otherwise, he's going to take years to die. Like, I'm not even exaggerating. You guys are going to be, like, due, like, three Christmases and two birthdays when this is over. And in here, red chest, please. Give me the guppy. Oh, we didn't get the guppy. Life is hard. I mean, it just, it really is. Okay, this is balls of steel, so that's pretty good. And then we have hematosis. That's pretty bad. And now we have to slowly but surely kill many fistulas as they try their best to slay us in manners most random. Seriously, fistulas' entire plan is I'm gonna walk around blindly in this room and hope that I bump into my enemy enough that he dies. Really? Go back to boss school along with Monstro Champion and Pin. They're really, they're gonna need more space in boss school soon. They really, really are. You know things are bad when it's taking this long to kill a Loki in a boss trap. Though I don't know if they actually do have less health for being in a boss trap. I'm just kind of assuming so. Definitely going to use that bomb to do damage there. We just may as well. Goodbye, chub. Guppy item! Drop! Oh, just some more useless keys. And double haunt! Oh, I don't have any bombs. Excellent. 
Absolutely excellent. Haunt on haunt action, though. Really hot stuff here at Rage Gaming. Absolutely fantastic. And uh, I'm just going to sit in front of you and kill you because I have no reason not to. I hope you're happy about that decision I've made. I mean, I guess your brimstone would do something, but that's not really going to be a problem because you'll be dead before you fire it. So congratulations. You tried, I guess. A for effort. Still no cricket's head. Opens so many gold chests as well. And Monstro 2. Electric to you. I don't really know. I just wanted to come up with my own one and not Boogaloo for once. But I guess it's not possible to not Boogaloo. Sometimes you just gotta Boogaloo. It's the way of the world. Yep, do your things. And then spawn your things. And then, haha, your things got blown up. How did that happen? Nobody knows. Don't laser me. Don't laser. You're lasering me. The hell did I say, Monstro 2? At least you're actually a threat, so that's something. All right, this is going to be a very amusing Isaac fight that I am sure of. Oh, I could have got a mini cricket's head. Let's use the uh, devil, and then basically we're going to Bob's brain him. So do Bob's brain, and then we're just going to sit on his face. Okay, that is... Well, I guess he's kind of getting away with it because of the tears spawning in, like, the circle. So maybe I should have waited more at the back, but I very much just wanted to sit there killing him because the shield coupled with the soul, I mean, what what is what is going to hit me? And good, that worked out very, very nicely as well. And, yeah, really not too bothered here. And we are moving very, very quickly. I, of course, would rather keep this extra health, so, you know, I am going to try and not get hit anymore, but even with the devil powering us up here, it is still taking a ridiculous amount of time to kill Isaac, so we are going to need some serious damage from our chest items here, we really, really are. Bob's brain is back, which is good, because we really need it. You want Bob's brain, whenever you're ready, connect with him, that's fine. And where are we going? Right! This fight... See, why couldn't I have done the fight this effectively when I had the damage to wreck him? And there we go. Please let me leave. Please give me, like, Polyphemus and Eve's Mascara and Book of Belial and anything. Just please, just please give me that bomb. I don't need more defensive items. Proptosis, thank you so much. And chocolate milk as well. Aries, I do like. But, you know, Dark bomb guys, we were in danger of dying here. We very much were. Wow, that has actually rapidly changed our damage from terrible to kind of acceptable. Though to say our tears are that big, I feel like we could be doing more damage than we are here. Though it is two enemies, so I guess it's taking that into account there. And we do have our chocolate shield, which is lovely. 25 money, absolutely pointless, but whatever. And... Uh, there we go. I mean, if we had piercing tears, this would be great, of course, but we don't. Though this is a very sudden size increase for our tears, like a lot more than I was expecting for. Just proptosis would have been great, so I am very, very happy with this. And we can just spam for the proptosis, though it's not that impressive. Balls of steel, balls of steel, and full health. Guys, I think we're going to kill Blue Baby. I don't know what it is that's making me think that, but there's something. There's just something about Blue Baby that makes me think we'll somehow, right? Just, just somehow manage to kill it. So, that's... No! We managed it. We have become the knight. We have done it. After all this time, we finally are allowed some damage, and the common cold as well. It is lovely. I am so happy. We can stab and stab and stab away to our heart's content and do a lovely, lovely amount of damage. We have so many keys, though. Like, I really wish I had a way to spend them, but alas, I do not. And we get a purr throw, which would have been nice a little bit earlier on, chest. I'm sorry for picking on you in particular. But this is just how these things happen. In fact, did the other one even die first? I don't think he did. Not that I really care. We do have a full health pill back there. 
Ooh, double adversary. That's um, potentially really dangerous. Though, as it turns out, that was really, that was a pathetic showing adversary. That really, really was. And we get, uh, we may as well per throw that. <laughs> All right, game. I guess you really wanted to make up for how ridiculously long it took to get here. All right, I hear you. That is, that is fine. <laughs> Absolutely ridiculous. Are you serious? Oh man, no, I'm rage. Ho ho, self talk joke. I can't even. We went from being the unkillable tank of death to now we are still an unkillable tank of death, dealing ridiculously high damage. So there we go. And we're about to find a blue baby because we're heading towards the super secret, which is great. And we get an extra spirit heart just for the funsies. Hey, you are technically a better spacebar item. So that's neat. Boom. Although, actually, our Dr. Fetus missiles aren't wrecking that hard, which just is a testament to how pathetic our damage is actually at the moment. Really? You're not dead? Can you be dead, please? There we go. Was that so hard? And the secret room we get... Guppy! That would have been so... So good to get Guppy there. There is that uh, that would have made my day. I'm a little bit disappointed to not get it because that would have been all the power in the world on one chest right there. And that was good as well. Whoa! It's a chest that kind of circles round on itself. I don't think I've ever had one of those before. That is very interesting. I guess we should grab the spirit heart. Not that it really matters. Am I right? Oh, so where the hell is Blue Baby? <laughs> Look at them go! They're trying! They are trying so hard! But not hard enough, Dingle Dangles! So where is Blue Baby? I mean, we do have a H over there, which I'm sure Hollow would appreciate, but... Oh, okay, interesting. A very, very interesting Blue Baby spawn. This room is just fantastic. Just so many explosions for me, too rain down upon these guys. Just a nice amount of innocence to slaughter before Blue Baby. It's it's like the game really wants to make me as happy as it can. And then, of course, Dak Bum has got a field day with all of these. Hey, Blue Baby. Can you even phys- Like, if I just stand here, can you physically do anything to me? I feel like he can't really. Like, there's just- Like, how would you- How would you ever, like- ever kill me. You just can't do it. There's just... There's just nothing. You have no way of killing me. Oh, he's dead. Okay. Hey! Nice. Alright, guys. Well, that is... That is, um... I don't even know what that is. My name has been Rachel. But like you've enjoyed this, it really does help. And subscribe for more. Oh, goodbye.